The FE exam tests your understanding in the subjects covered in your undergraduate engineering program. So it's logical to assume that recent graduates should be able to pass the FE exam easily, right? And yet there's tons of students who get their results back and find that they failed. But why? Well, here are three reasons why recent graduates might not pass the FE. Oh, yeah. Now, if you are a recent graduate, go ahead and let us know in the comment section below when did you graduate and if you have taken the FE exam before. All right, guys, now let's dive in. Reason number one, inexperience with the FE test. Now, when was the last time you've taken 110 question test that covers 12 to 14 different subjects? The FE exam is not just any exam. It's a unique challenge and it doesn't just simply tests your knowledge on one particular subject, but it assesses your understanding across multiple disciplines. Most undergraduate exams focus on one specific area, but the FE requires you to quickly switch contexts. So one moment you could be tackling a question on fluid mechanics and the next you're doing a surveying problem. This requires you to have numerous equations, concepts, and solution processes instantly accessible in your mind. And for someone who hasn't faced this challenge before, it's easy to get overwhelmed or mentally drained. And while the FE provides the reference manual, it's important to familiarize yourself with it beforehand. Now, many students think that just because they have access to the reference manual, they don't need to remember important equations. And that's a myth because the reference manual is vast. And if you don't know where to find what you're looking for, you're going to waste so much time during the exam. So make sure that you guys are always using the reference handbook as you're studying for your FE. This way you can get yourself familiar with the reference manual and then also you can remember where the equations are. Now, I would also recommend that you guys check out this video here where I talk about how to quickly find the equations on the reference manual, which could save you guys some time during the exam. And also something to remember is that not all the equations and concepts that you need to know are provided to you guys on the reference manual. So make sure that you guys download our 30 page long cheat that has the important equations and concepts that you need to know to pass your FE exam. The other thing we have is practice exams. So practice exams are a great way to familiarize yourself with the test. And as you take more practice exams, you start developing important test skills like time management and navigating through the reference handbook. However, the average student only takes one practice exam before their real exam. And for a lot of people, that's not enough. That's why in addition to practice exams, you should have a larger comprehensive study plan. And it's crucial to dive deep into the subjects, understand the core concepts, work through different problems, and engage with diverse study materials. Moving on to reason number two, lack of fundamentals. Here's the reality. During college, many of us didn't fully grasp or retain everything taught in our courses, whether it is due to not fully understanding certain concepts or just simply forgetting them upon graduation, which is a common experience. And the college journey is packed with activities like social events, working and joining clubs like ASCE, and this leaves little time to deeply absorb all the material. And even if we did manage to soak up every detail, by the time we toss our graduation caps into the air, much of what we learned might have, have faded from memory. Now, each one of us during our engineering journey encountered that one course where we barely scraped by. And deep down, we knew that we hadn't fully grasped the concepts. And this is one of the main reasons why recent graduates struggle with the FE exam, because the FE exam doesn't just test your memory, it tests your understanding as well. And if there is a fundamental concept that you overlooked or you didn't get, it's going to show up during your exam. And then there is the ripple effect. So if you didn't fully understand a particular class, that gap in knowledge could affect your grasp of the subsequent subject. So consider statics as an example. So if you barely got through statics, you probably had difficulties in dynamics, mechanics of materials, fluid mechanics, and structures, since these classes are rooted in the principles of statics. So if you feel like you missed out on a lot of concepts during college, then it's crucial to prepare for this exam, which leads us to reason number three. By the way, guys, if you are enjoying this video and you find this content helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the channel out immensely.
Reason number three, no or poor study resources. Now, fresh out of college, it's easy to feel like I've got this or a quick read through the Linder book book or a few YouTube videos should be enough. And while this might work for a select few, the majority of us needs to seriously hit the books. Now, you can use your class notes for your FE preparation if you still have them. However, they might not be sufficient or specifically tailored to the FE exam. Now, college textbooks are also another option, but they're often too dense and you likely don't need to know everything they contain to pass the FE exam. So you need to find study resources that focuses precisely on the FE subjects. By studying for the tests in a targeted way, you can optimize your time and increase your chances to passing the FE exam faster. Now, if you are uncertain about which study material to use, there are a couple things you can check out. First, consider our courses. So one option we have is the quick review course, which is perfect for those of you guys who did really well in school and just need a refresher on the core FE concepts and problems. Now, if you're sitting there and thinking, I hardly remember anything from college and honestly, some concepts just went over my head, then I would consider getting the bundle course where we cover everything that you guys need to pass your FD exam. Now, you can also check out this video here where I talk about the top study material to help you pass your FE and do 1K. So that's all we have for today. Now, if you have failed your FE exam before, don't feel discouraged. You got this. You just need to prepare a little bit more. Now, before you go, make sure you check out this playlist here that has over 100 FE problems. This is really going to help you guys with your FE preparation. And the other thing that you can check out as well is this playlist here where students share their FE experience and you can learn how they pass their FE exam. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope that you guys succeed on your FE exam. And if you have any questions, please let let us know in the comments below and thank you guys for joining me today i hope you have a great productive week and i will see you guys on the next video à la prochaine oh, yeah.